This is CNN. As we just told you a couple minutes ago, we have now learned that the U.S. Senate unexpectedly has approved legislation to restore the death benefits for the families of fallen members of the military. There was all kinds of outrage, you know, when those payments were cut off because of this partial government shutdown. While restoring these payments is obviously great welcome news for some, for others the outrage remains because come November 1st, and I know maybe, maybe there may be a short-term deal here, but if this shutdown uh, is in effect here, 3.8 million of our wounded veterans won't be receiving their disability checks here. And Sherman Gillums uh, joins me now. He's a Marine veteran and associate executive director of uh, Veterans Benefits for the Paralyzed Veterans of America. So, Mr. Gillums, welcome in, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, just for, for our audience, you were left disabled in a car accident. This is just a couple uh, months prior to uh, deploying to Afghanistan. Uh, and, and before I get your reaction to our latest news when it comes to the death benefits, you know, we wanted to talk to you because I, I'm pretty passionate when it comes to our wounded warriors and getting the, 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 the help they need. And if this, if this thing continues, they may not get it. How hard will this hit them? Well, let me put it this way. Uh, most of us, we have bills, we have, uh, you know, a, a way to provide a roof over our heads, we have to feed our families, put gas in the car. When you have to make choices uh, among paying those, those are bad enough. But imagine for a second you face that same circumstance, except when you wake up in the morning, you look down and your legs don't work or they may be missing, or your hands don't work, or, and, and you have to pay an individual to come into your home to help you do the activities that a lot of us take for granted when we're able-bodied. Well, in those cases, when we're talking about a paycheck getting cut off, you're having to choose between the essentials, the routine essentials, and in the case of uh, many of the men and women uh, over whom Paralyzed Veterans of America, for whom they, we advocate, mm -hmm. that's the choice to have to make. You, you know, now you're, now you're talking about cutting off the very things that keep you alive, that help you survive every day, and that's unacceptable. You know, uh, Montel Williams used to host a talk show for a long time. He's actually a board member of the Fisher House. He was talking to Piers Morgan last night. Fisher House is this private entity and, uh, who is um, you know, bravely stepping forward and sort of taking on some of the death, um, death benefits that, that because of Congress uh, initially, that they're helping take care of these families. And, and he came on with Piers and he basically said, because the question is why, right? Why is this even, um, why is this happening? And he said that there are, I think he said 20%, less than 20% of the current lawmakers serving, you know, you and me, uh, have, have, have served. So, so the rest of the body of Congress has never served our, our country. And I'm just curious if you think that that is part of the issue here. This is, you know, and compared to the numbers were very different decade, decades ago. You think that's, that's part of the reason? Well, we are, you know, I try to, to avoid uh, playing into the politics of these things, um, <laughs> Good for I, I don't. You. I, I, I don't want to indict the, you know, the character or the motives of of those who have uh, s chosen to serve their country in a different way. But I will say that uh, things might be a little bit different if part of the shutdown involved cutting off checks that go to congressional representatives. Hmm. Well said. Let me, let me uh, just thank you. I'm going to leave it right there. And thank you so much, uh, Sherman Gillums. I appreciate you very much and everything that you do for uh, those who served in our country. Thank you, Brooke. Coming up next is Republicans get ready to meet with President Obama at the White House.